Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles. And on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle and styling. So, just a quick disclaimer, I have not been using my mic because I don't know, it's been giving me some problems so I'm gonna replace it. But, I wanted to just be a little bit transparent today with you guys about where I'm trying to take my channel to. And you guys can comment below if you like the idea or if you don't like the idea. Because we have so many channels where they're doing hauls and they're doing all these different things, <clears throat> that's great. I am a tall woman, so I am gearing towards tall women fashion, right? Not to say that an average sized woman couldn't do what we do, right? So I wanna start incorporating some more things for us taller women and seeing if what kind of feedback I get, right? I know that there is a lot of us out there. <laughs> they don't talk about the struggles that they have often, but we definitely do have them. And I wanna make sure that every tall woman is able to still look stylish and fashionable, even, even if they're tall, right? So let me jump right into it. I wanna talk about shopping as a tall woman, right? It's not as easy as people think, especially if you are a person who really loves, I don't wanna say luxury, but quality stuff, right? Now we know Pretty Little Things, and what's the other one? It's a bunch of other little, <laughs> little, little stores that people shop at that have a tall section. I personally don't do it because I just don't feel like it's gonna last me long enough. Now maybe Topshop, maybe. I do know they have a tall section too. So shopping as a tall woman can be difficult if you don't know where to shop. So you guys know I am a style coach and what I teach my clients is learning how to strategically shop for your body type regardless because you can be tall and have a pear shape. You can be tall and be rectangle. You can be tall and be an inverted triangle. So all of these things affects us as well. So we're not just like out here just being tall and don't have any problems, but just finding clothes that fit us vertically, right? So my goal is to really help women who are tall, we're gonna say five, nine and up, who struggle with finding clothes to fit them. I see YouTubers post things and, you know, sometimes the shirt is kind of too small on the arms and they're just rolling it up. We're tired of that, honestly. Like, we're so tired of that. So I have pretty much created some things for myself that I'm gonna start sharing with you ladies on how to actually be stylish, right? Now, we're gonna talk about fit, the proportion, and your measurements, and knowing your body type. Those are three to four things that you have to know. Well, the three things you have to know is your, your measurements, your body type, and your proportions, right? Every tall woman is not built the same. I so happen to be probably split across the middle, right? Meaning my torso is not super long, uh, my legs are not super long. Um, one is not overpowering the other. So I can pretty much wear whatever. I just need to make sure that it fits me and my arms and the legs, right? But then you have some who have longer torsos, right? And they actually are tall too, but then they have a longer torso. So now that's a roadblock. So trying to figure out these things and making sure that we're buying the proper things to fit our body is something that I am going to teach every person who signs up for any of my programs, right? And that's because I have seen it where women are, and I'm just gonna say it, I've seen tall women kind of hunch over, you know, slouch and, and that has a lot to do with not being confident in what you're wearing. Um, my mom used to always tell me, make sure you walk with your back straight. I work from home, so if I slouch a little bit, that's probably why. Um, but coming from New York, it was just something that I always did. I walked with my head up and being proud of my height, right? Um, you know, when it comes to slouching as a tall woman, it has a lot to do with your confidence. And someone probably said something to you as a child and it stuck with you as an adult. So now you're like feeling weird about wearing heels, wearing certain things. So 
that's what I wanted to that's what I want to do with this channel and just kind of bring you guys along with me if you know any other woman who is tall who struggles with fashion style or finding clothes to fit them this is the place for you guys um, like I said I really want to take it into the, that direction and really incorporate my services because I definitely know that it will help so let's talk about my services <laughs> I have three different packages, right? And this is like a shameless plug, but I wanna break it down to you as to who fits in these packages. Even though it says that I work with corporate professional women, that's fine, right? But we have tall women everywhere. So corporate professional women is who I cater to, but I also work with other women who are tall or of any other height. And that would be considered a pocket offer for me meaning you're outside of my norm. My process that I use is called the Height of Fashion Style Plan. And this plan is something that will take you from A to Z. You'll learn how to shop for your body. You'll learn your measurements. You'll learn your body type. You'll learn how to shop strategically. You will have style clarity. Now, style clarity is something that a lot of people are completely missing. And the reason why they're missing it is because social media social media has us all kind of like uh all over the place because we have influencers we have celebrities we have everything in our faces and now we're thinking that we have to dress like these folks right we have to be on trend some people don't like trends i'm not really a trend person some things but i'm not gonna be out here with a whole entire trendy outfit it's just not something that i do um but there are people who actually love it and that's fine. So the problem is you're seeing the people who love classic, then you see the people who love trend and it's in your face and you don't know which way to go. So that is what I do. I actually kind of wheel it all in for you and to see where you are with your current style and where you're trying to go. And actually guys, where your lifestyle, your current life activities are fitting with your wardrobe. You don't even understand how many clients I have had and they tell me they live this certain lifestyle, but their wardrobe does not match it at all. So those are the women who never have anything to wear, right? So we talk about wardrobe basics and stuff. So that is what I am trying to do with this channel. Um, you guys, let me know what you wanna see. Um, I am totally open to it. I just wanted to come on here and just kind of be transparent in what I am trying to do because I really want to build this and do something really, really great for the women who actually struggle with sh shopping for their body type. So you guys know I call it vertical style challenges instead of just saying plain old tall. When you hear vertical style challenges, think of Coco <laughs> because I have coined that, okay? So for you ladies who do follow me who are tall, comment below what are some things that you would like to see or learn um, because I am considered, I consider myself a style coach instead of a regular personal stylist. And the reason why is because I want you to be able to take these processes that I do teach you and use them later on. So you don't have to actually hire someone again to come and help you, right? So that is all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Just a little quick chit chat on how I'm gonna take my channel and where I'm gonna take it to and what are what my plans are. I'll probably still sprinkle in styling, of course, um, but that I'm still trying to figure out how I wanna do that because I want it to be very, very intentional, right? I want it to really, really help you ladies um, in finding your style and not getting caught up in what social media has going on because I know for a fact that it can definitely put a damper on you and your wardrobe if your wardrobe is not matching up to what you see others have. Listen, these women have like thousands of bags, right? <laughs> so if you feel like you don't have them, you may feel like, well, something's wrong, right? And that's not really the case. So um, again, when you have a lot of luxury, it doesn't mean that you are super fabulous and fly. Like it just does not, it doesn't mean that you dress the best. So let's just put that out there. Um, style has nothing to do with labels. Uh, it's just the individual person and what they're expressing. So let me know what you guys think about that. I just wanted to drop that little note on you guys and let me know what you guys think below. Uh, follow me on Instagram guys at Coco Styles NY. I post tips and videos every single day so you guys can stay up to date. 
And make sure you head over to my website at Coco Styles NY. Grab your freebie, which I am probably going to update that too. <laughs> And also guys, head over to my blog at Coco Styles NYC. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.